or were they not? Okay. Thank you. Okay, please uh, do take us around to see what we, what we have here. Well, let's start from here because you are in Padio Bina Gallery from the past to the present. The Padio Bina Gallery is a place of art, is a place of history, is a place of archiving. So therefore, it's an art gallery and a museum at the same time of both natural history and artificial history. That's why in the gallery you will be passing through two major languages, or three, Chiburu, Akaburu, and Chimene. Okay. So when you go through the gallery, you'll be seeing these things as the master creator God has made them, Chiburu. In our culture, we hear about deities okay. and masquerades. Okay. Deities are gods of the land okay. in different names. Allah, Amadioha, Igwekala, Ubunabale. All kinds of names given to the gods, the deities of the land. The deities of the land do not are not seen. They are seen through the spirits called Ebo. That's what you call the masquerades. The meaning of Ebo, which is an Anang language, is spirits. So the masquerades represent the deities of the land and they come out now in different climes according to the cultures and timing of the people. Okay. They are not things that you see regularly. They worship every ordinala, omenala. Not the bendy. They don't offers appear all the time.
Yes, we, I have a partnership with the ministry through the Ministry of uh, Creative Arts, Culture and Tourism. This gallery is in partnership. You will also find out that I am in the I'm, I'm in the project of uh, promotion of Igbo arts and Igbo culture okay. and preserving the past into the present for the future. So this gallery is more again of a legacy project for future. So things you don't see today, things you didn't know in the past, you know them and then we leave them for the future. Okay. In three years, and the numerous three million people that died in Biafra, yeah. and that's why we keep saying, Ujosa mm Abakwog, -hmm. Wong. I wouldn't pray for a repeat of such a thing. Okay. It is good to jaw jaw than to war war. That's why you have the word Ono Kogo. Ono Kogo, jaw jaw. Don't war war. Let's keep talking peace and keep living. So each time the young people, everybody comes here, this is a reminder. This continues to be a reminder okay. of the past, which is, wasn't pleasant. Okay. Yes, it's in communities, which is not the best. On Okoko. Okay, um, I can see Nigerian stories as well. Yes. Come on. Sorry. Yes. So you can see. Would you believe that this is Woloshe Inca in 1940? This what? is Woloshe Inca in 1940 Sorry, with the sister. This one? Yes. And this is Woloshe Inca in 1986. On JP Club. Yes. Now, now see Woloshe Inca as if people will never get old. Mm. It is important that the, we know that, that I am like this today mm -hmm. wasn't what I was. Many years back, Ogeru Yonye Eboru Ribe. This, yes. yes. What is the inscription they wrote there? This is Christmas in Badagri, and this was when the whites were ruling us. And these were the only things we wore were little pants that were given to us by the whites. So they used the body of people to write. Uh, yes, but I, don't you see? They were simply. It's like uh, they are using us for caricature. Ah, they enslaved us and enslaved our mind and body and soul. This is what slavery was all about. We had no, no thinking of our own. We had no right even to think or to talk. That's what slavery is all about. On the body of some of these things, mm -hmm. each one is like you now go to uh, on stone. You see writings. And human beings are now beginning to interpret. When I went to Umu in Pende, I saw the fingerprints, the cave. I saw the the the, the journey from Obebulu Baabi to Arochubu was through the cave. And you see fingers on the walls. And this was the marks that now guided now, the please, people. What is this? That's uh, an amputee. That's a, dis a disabled. You can see it's on wood, it's on metal. You can see his uh, clutch. You can see it. His uh, one leg is off. This is memory of the Biafra of uh, the Biafra war done on metal. Is uh -huh. Biafra war? Of course, I did. Were, were they amputated? This is the one leg. Don't you see that this is a legless one leg and no leg? Who Many amputated them? them? The war, the, the bullets amputated them, <laughs> including the face of Allah here. Allah, mm. the face of Allah. Allah represents is represented by a woman. Mm. Yes, Mother Earth. That's why it's called Mother Earth. If you look well here. You will see the face of the woman because I dug this thing out from 15 feet in the ground. Well, please uh, turn the camera over there to what you got in the Good. Do you understand? Okay. So that's Allah. And the husband is the thunder. Am I doing her? If you ever do anything wrong, when in his jealous journey to mother it, you 
intercept the thunder, it will kill. So anytime you hear that thunder has killed, okay. know that something ugly or something dubious has been put on this through the journey. So, and you have interrupted it, it will kill. Okay. That's our belief. Okay. So, and there is wrong for women to be using Amadio Hamabu to your children. Let the, the thunder kill you. If you do anything wrong, the thunder will strike. That's why it is wrong. What spoken language okay. is very dangerous. Okay. We have to be careful. Okay, sir. Yes. Welcome to the interior of my gallery. Mm. Within this interior, you will see if I were just, not just an artist, mm -hmm. and I want to convert here mm. to the traditional go to see a suit sire, go to the uh, home of the uh, that man that has painted his, you will surely be believing that. Mm -hmm. But you'll be now. He's not just an artist, mm -hmm. but he's a Dibia. <laughs> because I can as well say, when you walk around, Yes. This place, you will go around and you will see behind this, this trinity, mm. you will see what we call the Uju, the Uju mini. Mm. Here, you can dip your hand into the Uju, okay. which you see in the forests, and within the Uju, take, dip your hand, touch the water, and then use it to wipe your face all that you're asking for will happen to you will be, be given to you you will then believe the dibia man if it works yeah. and can see the back of this wasn't done by me it was by, done by the master creator god who is the who is the supreme sculptor the supreme painter the artist above all artists so that is my model artist. God is my model artist. Okay. Yes. Now you see here, you believe that this is an altar. It's a collection of artifacts, including this obo that is 120 years old from, yes, the man who gave it to me died over 60 years ago. Oh. And as he's walking around, along, he's playing this oboe. It's called Naijombo. Okay, the man that gave you this. Gave me this. This is an antique. Okay. Now, so I treasure it so much. So if there are old antiques in Nemo State, I would want to get them and so that we can preserve them in the gallery for young people to see and for students of antiquity and studies to museums and galleries to come. Now you see here the king. Mm. The king. Kewi Kenga. Uti Okay. One face Ikenga. Okay. You also see the four face Ikenga. Four face. Four face Ikenga. Oh yeah. You also have two-faced Ikenga. Two-faced is like when I'm saying my prayer. Chineke ji ike nine. Nyem Ikenga. I cannot say the all that Ikenge, the, what I'm going to do. Nyem Ikenga ija aboso. Ikenge ji guku. Ikenge ji anuinye. All are asking chi. That's why you raise your hand in supplication mm. to Indi Kenga. Nyemi Kenga, two words, Ike and Nga. So it's a prayer that brought out Ikenga. Norom Nihu. Norom Nazo. Norom Nakeba. Norom Nakani. That is the four faced Ikenga. It's a prayer. Mm. This place. This place is ancient and uh, modern. Yes, these are bottles you throw away, but they have been turned into decorations. Why are you putting all these wastes? I am converting waste to wealth. What is a muwa? Good. When we the cook used to cook 
soup for community. Okay. It, this is a mboba. But you can also use it for as paddle. Okay. The paddle okay. Okay. So these are treasures of the past which we are collecting here. Okay. And then you see paintings, my paintings. Are these things for sale? They are for sale, including myself, ready for sale. I can convert. Oh. <laughs> they are all for sale. How can somebody buy you? Oh, you can. To go and do service for you. Do service? That is to, okay. if you want places to be, deco to be decorated, okay. I am available. Uh. So that means my work is for sale. I am also service for is for sale. Okay. <laughs> Let me interject by taking you to the zoo room, the other art form, and the art form here is nature's art, of made out of animals of that were dead wait, wait, wait. in the naked zoo that is no longer there. But the naked zoo is alive here because of my partnership. The gallery is in partnership with the government of Imo State. So, having requested that we archive these things for you in this place, this forms another tourist center of the zoo, specifically of the animals that had lived in the zoo. And you see some of them, you now see the skeletons. Okay. None of them is alive, including those ones, these ones you think that uh, are alive. Nothing is inside their stomachs. Okay. They are simply, you can see, Cadavers, they, are, they are just they are stuffed. Okay. They have been stuffed in. They have been... Um, this is a lion, right? Yes. So you see, them in different from monkeys, chimpanzees, snakes, all kinds of things. that they, Of course, Jesus. the snake is here. Look at it there. The crocodile is there. The crocodiles, the uh, tortoise on different sizes, the porcupine, name them. So the uh, eagle, uh, everything that they used to be in the zoo, that is, the, they are here as part of, this is part of the tourism ministry in terms of the zoo. Okay. That is where it is now. Okay. This big head, what is it? the in Igbo land. Yes. And you see, you now see cows, but eh, the head of cows and the eh, they are all part of. What is this monkey? They are monkeys and chimpanzees. Is a, is a monkey too. Uh -huh. okay. Chimpanzees and monkeys are here. Why is, where, which one is chimpanzee? That's a chimpanzee. Yeah. And this is the skeleton of a chimpanzee here. That's a chimpanzee over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, welcome to. Wow. Here is, here is a full-fledged full gallery. Well, my problem... Uh, not just gallery, it's a museum. Yes. This is why my only battle is that I have more works in this gallery than it can occupy, as compared to galleries I've seen abroad. Uh, abroad. So the only appeal is that government in the partnership should also make sure we expand this gallery. Okay, sir. Children, when they hear of slave trade, okay. old slave trade were where they were shackled, but now we have modern slave trade, mm. where we are now working freely, applying to be es to be exported, <laughs> exported to go and uh, become caregivers and all kinds of things abroad. So that is the modern voluntary, uh, what do you call lotteries. Different kinds of lotteries. Now, what do they, we go out to do? Instead of coming back home to develop every aspect of our life. Some people begin to ask me, why do you, must you have this kind of gallery in Emekubu? Okay. Why not in Oweri or outside Oweri? Okay. And I tell them, how many minutes is it from Oweri? To and the government do wonderful. If once he's able, once we are able to finish the world on my road, and he does a detour to this place, my dear, 
we are in the heart of Owerri. And Owerri municipal is, on, is now 18 kilometers radius. So it's a few. So you see, slave trade, you now see how we live the communi community life then. Okay. And then you see Mary Celeste saving us from killing of twins. Mm. Yes. Well, can look at her there, over on the right. Okay. And you see the, this husband that has killed the children and uh, they had wives. So it was communal life. This was some of my naive works in the past. Okay. But I am more into real, you know, more of um, realism and abstractism based on my concept of partisan. This I what we call partisan. The style of partisan. Yes, the style of partisan uh, from the motifs I see of forests, movements, I see I have a lot of interest in woods and all that. Mm -hmm. And you see a lot of movement that even when you are passing mm -hmm. through the forest, you get frightened that probably what you are seeing in the bush was human. But I see them as our fear, because that in life there is nothing to fear except fear. Mm -hmm. The good, the bad and ugly of this country. Yes. You see the good, you see the bad, you see the ugly. These people who have passed through. This is what makes the history of our story. Okay. From Lord Lugard to the present. No, name them. You will find name anybody. You'll find them here. Those who have ruled and those who have gone to the uh, National Assembly, they have gone to the military. This is these are memories of all of them as I have captured them. Mm -hmm. I was artistic coordinator of Imo State the first time in '77, okay. so I know the history, the, the, the that story of then. So you see, what I, we are doing here in this gallery mm -hmm. is not just to talk about paintings. Mm -hmm. We are talking mm -hmm. about what nature has given us, okay. what we have created, mm -hmm. and what we can create. Now, on the face of the wood you saw before I started my work. I saw these things on the faces of these things, of those wood, before I went to cut, chop them and cut oh. them. So, this is bead work. This is not painting. It's bead. Yeah, it's true. Good. Of uh, the president. Wow. The outgoing president. Wow. So, I believe if he sees this, he'll come for it. Well, Yubu can come for it and go and give to him. <laughs> Yes, so this is my climb to Olumo Rock in a, as a tourist. I visited the Olumo Rock in Ogun State uh, when I took Imo State for the Gong Festival. And I met this woman who was 132 years. Look at the woman. She was 132 years when I met her. And when I went to the NAFES lately, I was told she's dead at 130, at the age of uh, 135. Wow, well, that's two years later. Yes, so, so I, I... So, as she is standing, she was 132. Two, yes. And we sat together, you can see. Wow. And she gave me the blessings of old age, and I'm angry. I am, I am happily also moving on. So this is you with him. Yes, yes, yes. So it's good. So when you follow the old, you also get the blessings. I tell you. And respect the old, you mm -hmm. also get the blessings of age. That's correct. Yeah. Now, and this is the story of Mbe, and that is why the story of Unutu, oh. that is killing this country. When Mbe, if you know the story of Unudu, he borrowed cap, he borrowed dress, he borrowed shoe, like he borrowed our vote. <laughs> and by the time he gets there, uh -huh. when they bring anything, he will say, it is for Unudu, for all of you. Okay. And then he will eat alone. And then at the end of the day, they removed all the things they lent to him. And then they pushed him down, and he fell without, uh, and that is like the tortoise. That's why the tortoise has broken back, because after eating alone, 
Mm. He was pushed to go and die. Mm. Alone. Okay. I hope you okay as well. Alright, he's on. Tell us what. I'm here. This is Chiburo. This is unity. So here we Nzuko. Nzuko Mona. Nzukande chik. Nzukande Shinala fool. That is the chiburu. And is as God has brought it with hands and clusters. You find women, you find animals. Or in a an amalgam. Nde <laughs> A lady had hot. Yen I am yen when I ain't got a latch in Allah. Zomoponala. This is my governor. And the, this is also God, the I took my time to ensure that oh, we are going nowhere. And I made sure that I took my time to do this work. Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Good. What is your prayer to the international community, to the government, who is already in partnership with you? Uh, your prayer, your appreciation, your final, on the final note. Well, first of all, I want to thank people who have so far mm -hmm. appreciated the little I have done. Okay. And I'll continue to remain grateful okay. for those who will still come in terms of partnership, okay. in terms of linkages to make this gallery what uh, a visit okay. for tourism, okay. for study. Okay. There are things to learn, too many things to learn here. I'm willing. Okay. Now, uh, you can see, like I uh, mentioned inside, mm -hmm. this gallery, what you have seen mm -hmm. is too big a place. Okay. The building housing it is too small. Hold on. You said you are willing to offer more services. How old are you already? Age is a number. Oh, okay. Uh, what is the number? Leave the age. <laughs> but I'll be celebrating a landmark of 80 next year. Whoa! So you're 79? Uh, yes. I am I'm already, I, I'm not started. Life begins at 80. Oh. At 80 I'm going to start, I'm hoping that the new structure and in partnership with the government okay. will get at least a two-story or one-story building yes. whole structure mm. within this place okay. to be able to give art breeds. That's correct. The art here so needs all, to breathe. All these things need to be spaced out. It, it needs to breathe. Museums and galleries I've seen abroad mm -hmm. might see one walk here, one walk there, That's and good. all. So the art breathes like human beings. So the artworks need to breathe, mm -hmm. and I want to call on government mm -hmm. in our partnership okay. to please come, join hands with me, budget me into what they are doing, so that we can build. A gallery that will now be able to impart knowledge because we we'll also have a skill section okay. to impart knowledge to the young people. Okay. I don't want the, my, my talent to die in, in me and with me. Okay. I need to impart knowledge. Okay, sir. Um, so, why doing that? Mm -hmm. It's a skill center. Okay. We need to train out more people. Okay. And so get do you want to create a Padiobina University of Arts and Culture? Well, it's already a university in its own. When, when you use the word university, okay. it is not mandatory that a university is not a building of cluster of people who pass through the university, okay. but the university did not pass through them. Okay. I've met a long, lot of young people who studied art. Okay. And the moment they are done with the... Uh, 
the schooling. That's the end of art. Mm. They feel there's nothing in it. Okay. Because they have not seen many artists okay. who are millionaires and billionaires. Okay. But I'm satisfied, I can comfortably say, this gallery is a billion dollar art gallery and museum. And I'm prepared to partner with international organizations okay. to come and we we'll see how to synergize. And I'm trying to use modernity to open through the e-commerce system okay. to also let people buy the works of art okay. so that this place can continue. And the traffic here will also encourage young people as they come, students, children, to also appreciate art. And the hotels and tourism industries, sadly, our ho hotels don't have anything to show for art. Mm. They don't. They simply go and buy prints, a few prints, cheat the young artists and buy them for peanuts. Okay. They don't want to buy signatures like my own <laughs> because I'm not cheap. Okay, <laughs> that's why they run away. Well, don't worry, time. Well, you see, do you know that Akunyelu's daughter's work, one piece of collage, sold for $3.4 million? Dora Akunyelu? Yes, the daughter. Do you know that the one was work lately sold for 1.3 million pounds? Wow. He is gone. Doesn't matter. I may not be an art uh, rich now, but at least legacy. We prove that this is a million dollar plus. That's correct. Yes. A billion dollar, dollar plus. Not, a, not just a no, billion. No, a billion dollar plus. But I am glad that the, the government, the present governor, he knows he what, knows what is. us is. He uh, appreciates what I'm doing. He appreciates nature. Good, and he is proud. He is happy to make this gallery a partner of the state government. And I'm grateful to His Excellency. Thank you, yes. Mr. Fadi, for mm. having me. I really appreciate your time. And I, just like you've called on uh, the government, who is already partnering with you, and other international bodies to come around. And you've also said that all this work of us are for sale. So please do approach Ndapadjobina Gallery and buy a work of us. He will not be too expensive though. No, no, no. I only sell to those who, who know the value <laughs> uh, of art. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you going to be expensive? I am a very expensive artist. Okay, sir. I know. Okay. I don't doubt you. Good. You, you... The only those who know the value of gold go for gold. Okay. <laughs> Real gold. Okay, sir.